Welcome to Physics Trek. I'm Alan Jay, here with another work solution to help you improve your physics and to show you best practice in answering questions. So let's get started. This is a common question type describing motion with a short period of uniform acceleration, a longer period of uniform velocity, and finally a short period of uniform deceleration or retardation. The answer uses subscript for many of the quantities to give a deeper understanding of how the answer was obtained. So let's move on. Here is our question. Question 5. A car starts from rest and is accelerated uniformly at the rate of 2 meters per second per second for 6 seconds. It then maintains a constant speed for half a minute. The brakes are then applied and the vehicle uniformly retarded to rest in 5 seconds. Find 1 the maximum speed reached in kilometers per hour to the total distance covered in meters answer to two decimal places. So here are the equations of motion and their quantities in blue down the side for quick reference. And writing out the information given in the question in symbol form we have UO that's for original velocity 0 meters per second a, the acceleration, 2 meters per second per second. T, A, that's the time for the acceleration, 6 seconds. T, constant, the time where the velocity is constant, 30 seconds. T, R, 5 seconds, that's the time for the retardation. V, F, the velocity, the final velocity, 0 meters per second. And now to visualize the problem, here is our diagram. This is the accelerated part of the motion. U0 equals 0 meters per second. Then we have V const, the maximum velocity, and the acceleration A at 2 meters per second per second. And the time for the acceleration TA, which equals 6 seconds. The second part of the motion is when the velocity is constant. And the final part is with velocity vf equal to zero. The time while the velocity is constant is t constant, which equals 30 seconds. And the time for retardation tr is 5 seconds. The retardation being ar. The first part of the question asks for the maximum speed in kilometers per hour. This speed, we've called it v-const, is achieved after 6 seconds. So let's write that down as a heading for this part of the question. Maximum speed v-const is at the end of 6 seconds. Now we have u, a and t and are required to work out v so we will be using v equals u plus a t. So we can straight away write v const equals u original u o plus a t a. Putting numbers in u o zero a is two t a is six. So v const is equal to two times six, which is twelve meters per second. which isn't our answer to the first part. Remember, we want the answer in kilometers per hour. So we write conversion to kilometers per hour, divide by 1,000 and multiply by 3,600. So writing our answer out again, V const is equal to 12 meters per second, which is equivalent to 12 divided by a thousand multiplied by three thousand six hundred gives us forty three point two kilometers per hour. The last part of the question asks for the total distance traveled. This distance is the sum of three separate distances. The distance traveled under acceleration for six seconds, the distance traveled at constant velocity for 30 seconds, and finally the distance travelled under retardation for 5 seconds. 
So let's write our title down for this first distance. The distance travelled in the first six seconds under accelerated motion. Here we can simply use the equation where we take the average of the initial and final velocities and multiply this by the time taken. So we have s is equal to u plus v divided by 2 and multiplied by t. So putting this in our symbols, we have u0 plus v const divided by 2 and multiplied by t a. Putting the numbers in, 0 plus 12 divided by 2 multiplied by 6, which gives us 6 times 6, which gives us 36 metres. Now to calculate the distance travelled in the 30 second period. As before, we use distance is equal to average velocity multiplied by time taken. In terms of our symbols, this is V const times T const. Putting in the numbers, V const is 12, T const is 30, 12 times 30 gives us 360 metres. And now to calculate the final distance, the distance travelled in the last 5 seconds. This last bit is a bit tricky, not straightforward like the last two calculations. The problem is that there is not enough information to calculate the distance. We only have the velocities at the start and end of the retardation and the time taken. In other words, u, v and t. To use any of the equations with s in them, we must have a, the retardation. So here is our calculation of a. The definition of acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time taken. In other words, v minus u over t. Using our symbols, that's vf minus v constant divided by the time t, r, time for retardation, putting in the numbers that 0 minus 12 divided by 5, which gives us minus 2.4 meters per second per second. I'm just putting in brackets here, a subscript r, to remind us that it, this is not an acceleration, it's a retardation. AR. We choose v squared minus u squared equals 2as because it is the simpler of the two equations with s in it. So let's start by writing out our equation. v squared minus u squared is equal to 2as. And let's put it in terms of our symbols. vf squared minus v const squared is equal to 2ars. Now we may need to make s the subject, so we turn the equation around to 2as is equal to v f squared minus v const squared. We divide both sides by 2a to leave s on its own, so we end up with s is equal to v f squared minus v const squared divided by 2a, 2ar. So we need to put the numbers in, so we have s is equal to 0 squared minus 144 divided by 2 times minus 2.4 which gives us minus 144 divided by minus 4.8 which gives us 30 meters. Now we have the three values for s. If we add them up we have our answer therefore the total distance covered is equal to 36 plus 360 plus 30, which gives us an answer 426 metres, or to two decimal places, 426.00 metres. And that's all for now. I hope this video has helped you out. Do look out for more work solutions on the topic equations of motion. More coming soon. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and be the first to see all the latest releases.